joined by Sanusi Ohiare of the Rural Electrification Agency in Nigeria. Sanusi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Sanusi, we're on to day two of the Africa Energy Forum 2018. What were your impressions from the first day? Well, to be honest, um, I thought it would be just, you know, one of those conferences. But this is, this is different. This is my first time attending the AEF. And uh, so far, the impression has been that of it's well coordinated. Um, the kind of people that are here are serious people. Um, there's another one going on somewhere in Germany, but I don't regret, you know, not going for that one because I'm here. I believe I'm in the best place. I've met some very um, interesting investors and also other stakeholders that are interested in uh, investing, and I'm trying to see how I can bring them down to Nigeria. That's amazing. Let's actually go through some of the work that the Rural Electrification Agency does in Nigeria. Well, the Rural Electrification Agency was created in 2005 and the mandate is for us to provide electricity to rural communities using different kinds of technologies, um, grid extension, off-grid, you know, solar home system, mini-grids and all of those. However, the focus since last year when the President, uh, President Muhammad Buhari appointed us into the Rural Education Agency is to, you know, de-emphasize, you know, grid extension because we've been doing that for a long while now and we haven't really seen uh, much impact, um, especially now that the market has been privatized, uh, distribution and generation are now in private hands. So the rural people, we need to really focus on them and uh, the focus should now be on mini grids, solar home systems and all those decentralized technologies that can pro generate and uh, supply electricity to those rural people on site. And since last year, that's what we've been doing. Um, as you know, Nigeria you know, has the largest uh, opportunity in terms of um, off-grid in Africa. Uh, we have also the best locations, uh, one of the best locations in the world for mini grids and solar home systems. And uh, we are the largest uh, uh, economy in terms of economy and population in Africa. So there are so many small, medium enterprises that rely on inefficient you know, um, generation technologies, using diesel. So, so the opportunity is huge. These people spend about $14 billion every year just using inefficient technologies. That's about 5.2 billion, a trillion Nigerian naira. That's almost our budget, our yearly budget. So you can imagine the opportunity when we, when we decide to switch to alternatives using solar mini grids that's about a 9.2 billion dollar opportunity and that will be saving us close to 4. something billion you know so if we decide to switch so the opportunities are there they are huge and uh, all the regulations and the policies that we need to put in place the president uh, has uh, approved them the minister has worked the minister Raji Fashola mm -hmm. has worked so hard to ensure that all these regulations and policies for mini grids that would incentivize investors to come in you know, are in place. And the managing director, uh, Damilola Gumbi, very hardworking. Uh, she has really been pushing for um, investors to come in, as I am as well. She's over there in Germany right now in the Intersolar, talking to investors. I'm here in uh, AEF Mauritius, talking to investors to come in. So that's what we've been doing for the last one year. Uh, in terms of challenges, we're trying to tell the investors, largely we've solved uh, most of the challenges. Um, in terms of regulations, in terms of policies, all we need now is for them to come in and take advantage of what we have. We have potential for about 10,000 mini grids that we are looking at developing within the next five years. So by 2023, um, that translates to only 30%, that's fulfilling only 30% of the demand really, even if we achieve it. So that's just to give you an idea of you know, how huge the potentials are within the market. Now just finally, can you see, what are you hoping the outcomes of all the discussions and deliberations that will be taking place at AEF 2018 at the end of the conference? For me, my, my job here is just to come talk to investors, uh, you know, present the opportunities that are in Nigeria. The, the strong political will is also there uh, because a lot of people had this um, impression about Nigeria that it wasn't really safe for investment. We weren't serious about the policies and regulations. but. I'm here to tell them, most of them already know, but for those that don't know yet, uh, to tell them that Nigeria is now open for business, especially in the mini grid space. Um, everything that they need to be in place to incentivize them and allay their fears have been taken care of. And if there are more that they feel, or if there's anyone that is inadequate for them, 
we are here, we are committed, we are willing to listen to them and uh, try and work on, on them so that they can come in and they are comfortable enough to come in. So that's the message. I've been talking to a couple of investors. A lot of them are eager to come. Most of them have already started uh, setting up shops in Lagos, in Abuja, you know, for mini grids and solar home systems. Um, we are hoping to get more funding agencies, you know, finance houses to, to come into Nigeria to fund uh, rural electrification, to partner with developers, private developers. We have the Rural Electrification Fund, which I'm also in charge of. Uh, you know, to see how we can leverage and blend funding together. We provide grants and concessionary loans. We want other people, the World Bank is coming in, African Development Bank, you know, all on, a couple of others, you know, to see blend funding, make them available for developers to invest in viable and sustainable mini-grid projects, and everybody's happy. Sanusi, thank you very much for being here.